Attention fellow humans, today we embark on a unique exploration where man and machine converge in a quest for automotive enlightenment. AI is being used in disease detection. It is being used to drive cars, but can it review one? Stay tuned as we unravel ChatGPT's perspective on the Mark IV VW Golf. This isn't just another car review, it's a testament to the limitless possibilities of human AI collaboration. Uh, what? If I'm honest, ChatGPT wrote that bit as well. Oh, okay. is that so? Just so you don't have to write any of it. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. This entire video came idea came from. To be honest, like it literally, all I did was just input details of the car, and then it, it just wrote it all. I mean, I had to add a few bits here and there, but like it's just a script. I just have to read it. Yeah. I don't even bother memorizing it. Just reading the script. Anyway, should we see what chat, TPT, whatever you say it, let's see what AI has to say. Hey there, car enthusiasts, R. Hansen here, and today we're taking a joyride in the classic, the 2003 Mark IV Volkswagen Golf with a 1.6 litre engine, five doors, and a slick black paint job. Camera, get ready to capture some charm, performance, reliability, and of course, a touch of humour. You don't sound like you normally do. No, not. Not, not exactly, if I'm honest. I mean, it's tried, it's decent, but I, I'm effectively just a performer now. I'm performing to the upper echelon of what ChatGPT expects from its actors. Okay. Let's kick things off with the specs. Under the hood, the 2003 Golf houses a peppy 1.6 litre engine delivering just the right amount of oomph for your daily adventures, paired with a smooth five-speed manual or optional automatic transmission, the Golf is ready to hit the road with style. And speaking of hitting the road, you'll be pleased to know that this classic comes with a reputation for reliability that's as solid as its build. Which effectively just means it's as reliable as it is reliable, right? I mean... Yeah. Which is something I'd probably put in one of my reviews, so I can't fault it really. Camera, let's capture those first impressions. The Mark IV Golf's timeless design still turns heads on the road. The black paint adds a touch of sophistication and the five door configuration, that's four more doors that are convertible. So you're practically riding in luxury. <sighs> Chappy, GPT can't count, confirmed here. You heard it first here, folks. Now, let's step inside. <sighs> Camera, pan around the interior of the 2003 Golf. The design may be considered a little bit dated by today's standards, but hey, who needs a futuristic spaceship when you can time travel in this classic? The five doors make it easier for you and your friends to jump in and maybe even toss someone in the trunk for a memorable road trip experience. Let's talk about the space in the back seats. Camera, focus on the rear seating area. Despite its compact exterior, the Mark IV Golf surprises with its generous back seat legroom. Even your tallest friends can sit comfortably without feeling cramped. It's like a TARDIS back here, bigger on the inside. Camera, let's zoom in on the features. Uh, which ones? Well, I'll get to it. Okay. The 2003 Mark IV Golf comes equipped with the essentials. Power steering, no, this is power windows. Power windows, air conditioning, and a decent sound system. Claimer, you do have to buy a dongle for this to work, but ChatGPT doesn't know that, so it's fine. Anyway, continuing on. And a decent sound system, perfect for a carpool karaoke session. Just don't sing so bad that your passengers want to jump out. Oh. Now, let's talk about the driving experience. Camera, getting close as I hit the road. The 1.6 litre engine is peppy enough, as he tries to drive at the same time, to make you forget. I'm just gonna not make us crash and die, guys. Okay, hold on. So that is crucial for the review. It is, yeah. To we be do fair. have to survive this. Uh, to have some footage. Yeah. 
The 1.6 litre engine is peppy enough to make you forget you're driving a car from the early 2000s. It's so smooth that getting in and out of traffic is almost as effortless as convincing your friend to check out the spacious trunk. Trust me, I've been in there. You're not wrong. Yeah, I, that doesn't make sense, but whatever. On the highway, the Golf maintains stability and road noise is well contained. Camera, capture the scenic views outside uh, as we cruise along. On the highway. Yeah, yeah. It's so quiet, you might even hear the crickets outside when you roll down the windows. But don't worry, they're just trying to join the party inside your awesome ride. Navigating tight spaces is a breeze with the Golf's compact dimensions. Camera, follow along as I effortlessly park this beauty. It's like the car whispers to the parking spaces. Don't worry, I got this. If only it could talk back when you accidentally leave your keys inside. Like that's pretty weird, right? Why does it want the car to talk back? Why does it want it to whisper back? It's proper weird, this AI stuff. Have I parked? That was quite hard. I should have, re I should have forward parked. Why did I think I could reverse park and read? And talk? Now, let's address the elephant in the room. Reliability. Camera. Zoom in on the sturdy build and resilient engine. The Mark III, no, the Mark 2003 Mark IV Golf has earned its stripes as a dependable companion on the road. Routine maintenance is the key to keeping the laughs and adventures rolling, and this Golf makes that easy with its straightforward design. Straightforward design. Ah! <laughs> And now for a special segment of our review, an exclusive interview with my co-pilot, Teddy. Camera focuses on Teddy in the passenger seat. Teddy, how's the comfort level in the Golf? Are you enjoying the ride? Teddy responds with silent gestures or nods. Uh, looks like Teddy approves. Now, Teddy, tell us, what do you think of the Golf's stylish interior? Uh, Teddy inspects the interior and gives a playful response. Feels even weirder. Um. <laughs> Teddy, rumour has it you're a fan of carpool karaoke. How's the sound system in this Golf? Uh. Teddy nods enthusiastically, pretending to sing along to the music. Host and Teddy share a laugh. <laughs> In conclusion, the 2003 Mark IV Golf with a 1.6 litre engine and five doors is a classic choice with a side of laughter, space and reliability. Camera capture the essence of this enduring charm combined with reliable performance and practicality. How am I even supposed to do that? And I have a name as well, it's not just camera. I, I, I don't know, to answer your first question. Uh, yeah, I, I'll let ChatGPT know next time. Anyway, yeah, uh, anyway. So whether you're commuting, road tripping, or just looking for an excuse to stuff your friends in the trunk, the Mark IV Golf has got you covered. It really doubled down on the trunk jokes. I only asked it to add one, one boot joke. Yeah, like it, those. it really did. Dad talking teddies and cars. Yeah, that was bizarre. Anyway, thanks for joining me, R. Hansen, on this laughter-filled and reliability-packed journey through the 2003 Mark IV Volkswagen Golf. Golf. Camera, catch any last-minute jokes or experiences with this iconic hatchback in the comments below. Ah. Uh. Yeah. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and keep the good vibes rolling. Until next time, happy driving. And remember, if your golf starts telling jokes, you might have left your comedian friend in the boot. Yeah, but in all seriousness, that was really quite strange. So to conclude, AI might take our jobs, but if it does, probably won't do anything opinion-based or review, especially not yet. Um, good fun though, and a lot less for me to have to film. So happy days. Anyway, thanks for actually watching. Uh, see you next time. Bye.